as a young trumpet player, you don't really get to experience that until kind of later at high school. You're used to playing in bands, wind bands, brass bands, or playing your solos with piano and things for exams. But really, that first time that you sit down in an orchestra and realize that you're counting bars rest for a very long time. You know, we used to kind of count in three bars rest, four bars rest, maybe six or seven in a brass band, but we certainly aren't used to counting like 150. And we're certainly not used to seeing the word tacit. So it's a really difficult thing. And, you know, brass players always get tarnished with being jokers, but to be honest, we are so bored most of the time, especially rehearsals, um, that it's just, it's a nightmare. You do get bored and you tend to fiddle. You fiddle with valves and, you know, all of a sudden something rolls across the floor or you drop a mute and the conductor shouts at you again and just think brass players are just a complete bunch of monkeys. Um, but I decided to put together on my YouTube channel some pieces and one of them in particular is Dvorak's Ninth Symphony. So you get the experience of playing a simplified part but you also get the experience of having to sit for 40 minutes as well. So I am going to completely put my hand up and say when I sat in orchestras my attention span was terrible and I did muck around not just as a kid at high school but also you know when I was out freelancing with orchestras like the SNO or the BBC all the brass players did. There was always little pranks going on and things getting flicked at people and you know strange noises being made on the instrument very quietly and things like that. There was all sorts of stuff going on. Here are two of my absolute favourites. Every single musician needs a pencil and that's obviously to mark things in um, and to write things on other people's part just to confuse them but for me the pencil was great because I would challenge the rest of the brass section to do this little trick here where you start with a pencil there and you get to the pencil there and then bring it back and that little trick of just sitting and doing that quite quickly people pick up a pencil and try it try it yourself it's really good so just from there to there and back the other one involved a yellow duster and honestly whenever you, you used to just sit in the orchestra and you saw somebody starting to roll up a yellow duster you knew what was going to happen so I think it was actually the trombone player in the Scottish National Orchestra at the time that taught me this one um, I think it was Lance Green um, who was the king of the pranks pranksters so here we go and all of a sudden you would see a little yellow duster like that and you'd see it kind of bobbing along and then the next thing you would see is a chicken. So we would sit and make chickens from yellow dusters. If you, have, if you have got half an hour, 40 minutes to spare, and you're a trumpet player, a trombone player, and you want to experience what it's like sitting in an orchestra, go onto my YouTube channel and have a play. I'll make sure the link is down below. Go and experience it, see how you get on. It is good fun, and it's nice to listen to the music. I mean, Dvorak's Ninth Symphony is iconic. It's a brilliant piece of music. There's also some Mozart on there and some festive overture and some bigger pieces where it really kicks off for the brass. Um, but if you can, try the symphony challenge.